And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams, and at the moment, I can't separate them. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Luka Modric plays with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. Here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned Club Kings of Europe. Kamavinga versus Kroos Eder Militao on a pass that lacks quality look at Modric opportunity it is and a goalkeeper on top of his game well it's great goalkeeping what a big save that is They take it short. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Gundogan. And great work to confuse the defender. Thumps clear. Mares and a touch of finesse and it went sailing over the crossbar not a moment he'll want to remember Mares this looks more than decent and blocked for now and the referee has pointed to the spot penalty given This to open the scoring here. And he puts it away confidently. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Has restarted 1 0 here. Modric Ro 
Rodrigo. Benzema. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, a piece of quick thinking by the keeper. Well, that's great goalkeeping. He read it so well, didn't he? Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Well, he's been ruled offside. Pressing high to win the ball. Vinicius! Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. So the ball is running again at one all. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Mares. And they need to get tighter here. Superbly read and executed. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? And slipped through by Karim Benzema. And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Now, who can he play it to? Now that's a long way off target, you've got to say. Well, there you have it, right on cue. City are certainly creating chances, but they have to improve their finishing. They should be leading quite easily here. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. But then the one that goes astray. He has time to play it over. Can he put them in front? That'll be offside. <laughs> Mares. Perfect tackle. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Carvajal. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And now the Champions League final. Into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory. Cross. Cross. And what a magical save it was. about the short corner and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end so plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here on a crucial intervention inside the box Holland Phil Foden now and great work to confuse the defender but a good piece of tidying up under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? He can't hold on to it. Well, threat averted.
the tackle take it away shot attempted ideal for the goalkeeper for any keeper highly honed defensive skills at evidence from Gundogan I just missed that little bit of attacking spark goalkeeper's ball Carvajal and the ball back with City now oh a lovely ball are they going to forge ahead oh that's textbook goalkeeping Mares. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. De Bruyne. On to Holland. And he's in. Surely. Excellent block. Rodri on to Holland he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge an incisive pass well it comes to nothing in the end offside well he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there just let the ball be played into the space a change on the offing for City Holland that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick taking everyone by surprise he didn't miss by much well this is all about his technique the ball seems to gather pace the closer it gets to goal that's a really good effort oh and the decision is penalty a big chance for them to take the lead here well no card handed out he gets away with a rebuke but a lot of referees would have booked him there but I'm with him on this one no yellow card for me and Manchester City will go to their bench this to see them take the lead once again and slot it home well his heart might have been fluttering but he didn't show it a goal from the spot well here it is again the keeper tries to read the penalty but in the end he just makes no effort whatsoever that's a strange decision Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Credit to them for winning back possession. Well, a joy to watch. Five minutes left. Oh, what's he gone and done? Oh, surely! Oh, they really might regret that. Well, what a big chance that was. That was the game right there. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. Oh. 
plenty of players waiting in the middle. Let's fly here. Well, actually, pretty easy for the goalkeeper in the end. Oh, a big mistake. Tries to lift it. A goal! And that is going to be that. Name on the trophy for certain. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, he looks so uncomfortable with the ball at his feet. He's cost his team a goal here. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. And there it is, full-time Manchester City Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserve it.